What is up everyone? My name is Tony. Welcome back to my channel where I react to K-pop. If you're new here, welcome. Hope you enjoy my reaction. If you do, please consider liking and subscribing. It definitely helps me out. Um, you can also feel free to follow me on Instagram and or Twitter if you are interested. Links are down in the description. I always follow back. Yeah, other than that, we're back with someone hyping. Um, I know I said again that I might get to ships, but um, I decided that it actually... Um, it actually would be better if I started, if I did the full album of Enhypen's, um, Dark Blood. So, that is what, that is what we are going to get into today. Yes. So that's what we're going to get into today and hype in Dark Blood. Since I already did Bite Me, I'm obviously going to skip that one, but we're going to get to the rest of the songs. Um, so I have a lyric video for all of those, and then I thought it would be fun to get into um, and hype in It's Live as well, because I love love its live performances um mostly because of the sound quality like it's live they have really 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 good sound quality like their microphones like it's and then also on top of that like using a live band i'm a huge fan of va of bands um and live instruments so i'm super super excited to check that out on top of that i apologize for the no makeup um I have a busy, busy weekend, so I'm going to listen to these um, as I'm doing my makeup and getting ready for the day. Um, I'm actually going to the Pride Parade, so my makeup's going to be a bit wild, but that's all right. Bear with me. Okay, so let's get into this. We're going to start with Fate and let's go. Uh, okay, so I feel like I wasn't too, too far off with with what I was saying in the, in the Bite Me music video, how, like, um, <laughs> how, like, they're kind of, like, tired of being vampires. They're kind of tired of this immortality that they have, like, 
it sounds to me like they just want to have like normal human lives um at least like that's the impression that I get I don't really know um but I just I feel like I feel like there's a lot happening with and hypens like storyline like between like the time jumping and like all of the powers that each member has like there's just a lot and there's like I, like I'm definitely not going to keep up with it um but I don't know like that's the impression that I get but I'm like I'm curious to know um what you guys think Mm. I really love their vocals in this, like, at the end of this. It sound really good. Interesting. Yeah, that's definitely, I don't know, what do you guys think? That's definitely the vibe that I get from this, um, from this current album. But, I don't know, what do you guys think? Because, like, I don't know, like, imagine, like, imagine, like, immortality... Imagine immortality and being friends, like, because you have to live in the world, right? Like, and being friends with humans who, you know, have an expiration on life, you know what I mean? And just constantly watching the people that you get close to, you know, die in front of your eyes and you're just still, like, there. You're still, like, in existence. I don't know. That has to be hard. Just like speaking from their perspective, you know what I mean? Okay, let's move on to Sacrifice. I also feel like, um, I kind of wish I would have done this all at once because I kind of feel like the songs go in a specific order, especially with how they started out Fate and like the talking and like telling a story kind of thing. Um, but oh well. I messed up, it's fine. Eat me up. <laughs> Interesting, okay. I'm really enjoying their vocals, like this whole album. I'm not gonna lie to you.
Yeah, I don't know. It's just like, again, the vibe that I get is that they're sacrificing themselves, right? Like, they're sacrificing themselves for this other person, but I feel like also, also to like, get out of this like eternal life if that makes sense like I don't know if that makes sense but I definitely think like they're sacrificing themselves for something or someone um okay um <laughs> I don't know how to say this Chaconi I'm uh Chaconi if I'm saying that incorrectly, please tell me and correct me. <laughs> but let's get into this one. So it's just Chacon. Chacon. What does that mean? I'm curious. I want to look up what that means. Oh. Uh, it's a dance performed, a stately dance performed to a, a composition in a series of varying sections in low triple time, typically over a short repeated bass theme. Oh. Oh. A fiery and suggestive dance. Interesting. This is just me doing like a basic like Google search, but if you guys have any more information than this, I'd be very, very like interested to know. Um, hmm. Okay. It, it makes sense with them like talking about like dancing and stuff. I mean, and they do have, like, a bass beat, ha like, in the song.
Interesting. Yeah, I would like, I would love like more information about uh, Shakon and what it like means in relation to the song. Um, if engines know, <laughs> I would very much appreciate like more of an explanation. Um, I like, I don't know, like I've like, I've always known that in Hypen, like we're very talented and that they were very good singers, but I just, I feel like I'm appreciating that even more in this, um, in this album. <clears throat> like, they all sound really, really good, in my opinion. I don't know, like, like I said before, like, I just, I think for this album, they went for mature themes and concepts, um, I think I re me personally I really think this album is about in hype and kind of growing up and coming into their own and and challenging themselves with these new artistic ideas and concepts and stuff like that like it's one thing it's one thing to have the type of choreo that they have like we already know that in hype and are amazing dancers they're very in sync they're very passionate but to then take on dancing with a partner it's not easy you have to put so much trust into that person to be on point to do their part in the choreo um it's a very trusting relationship whenever you have a partner in a dance and I'm I'm personally really happy that in Hypen took on that challenge and that they're taking on new challenges and willing to um, do new things and just challenge themselves artistically. It makes me super, super happy. Yeah, I mean, that's just my opinion. Like, I, I really think... I, ju I just think in Hypen is moving forward and I'm excited to see them, you know do these new things if that makes sense <laughs> but anyways let's move on to bills Ooh. i don't i don't know why the beginning of the song reminded me of um the song kiss me do you guys know know what song i'm talking about kiss me Beneath the somethings. I forgot the lyrics lore, but do you guys know what song I'm talking about? Yeah, I don't know. Like, I just, I can, I can feel it in their lyrics and in their music. Like, like, I just, I, I just feel like they seem so, uh, so adult now, if that makes sense. Like, I, not that, not that their music before this was juvenile or anything. Like, I mean, I still really, really enjoy, like, all of Enhypen's music, but, I just, I don't know, like, I just get this vibe that they really focused on <sighs> just maturing. Like, I just, I really don't know how else to describe it. Like, but, like, I'm just saying, like, I don't only see that in the dance for Bite Me, but also, like, in their lyrics as well. Like, it just seems very, um, um, just, like, just talking about, like, adult concepts and, mm, and just the challenges that we go through in adulthood, right? Because, like, there's still, like, even even as a 28-year-old, you know, there's still a lot of things that I go through personally and struggle with, you know what I mean? Like, 
anybody that says they have their lives together by the age of 25, by the age of 30, by the age of 35, they're lying. They're lying, okay? Nobody has their life together at any age, okay? Like, we're all just struggling through life, trying to figure it out, you know, trying to do what's best for us. Like, there's no, there's no set dates in which we have to have our lives together. Like, it's it's impossible. It's not going to happen. Like, who knows? Maybe at the age of 40, I'll change my career completely. You never know what's going to happen in life. You know what I mean? Like, humans are so complex. Like, we're so unique individuals. Like, we all live our lives differently. You know what I mean? I, I just, I just feel like, I just feel like in hyphen is like taking this step to kind of talk about these things, which I haven't really seen before, you know what I mean? But anyway, I just want to say that. Mm. Mm. yeah I don't know like like what do you guys think I I'm enjoying this whole album like sincerely are you good Bob yeah, I, like, I'm thoroughly, like, enjoying this whole album. Like, it's just, I feel like it's different. I feel like it's different music coming from an iPhone. It makes me excited. It makes me happy. Like, I don't know if anybody else feels that way, but <laughs> that's how I feel. Okay, let's get into Karma. I I think this might be my favorite song on the album, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm, like, a huge, like, rock, like, punk rock, like, alternative rock person, so...
I like the song a lot. Yeah, I like this a lot. I'm a sucker for electric guitar. Ooh. I, ooh, my elbow. I enjoyed that song a lot. Um, I definitely think that's probably gonna be my favorite on the album, I'm not gonna lie. Um. But like I said, like, I'm a huge, like, I, I just love rock in general. Alternative rock, um, punk rock, metal. Like, I, I just enjoy, like, all of that stuff. So, um, the, no wonder that's going to be my favorite. But I, I definitely think that this album was meant to be listened to in a specific order. Like, I definitely think it has, like, a story as it goes along, right? Because in the beginning, they were talking about fate and, um, and how this, how this fate was given to them. And, you know, now they have to live this life of, you know, abilities and immortality and, you know, things like that. And then it kind of moved on to, um... It kind of moved on to, like, what was after that? Um, and then it kind of moved on to, like, I want to escape my fate. Like, uh, if that makes sense. Like, I'm willing to sacrifice myself to not be stuck in this life that I'm in. Um, and then it kind of went into, like like adult concepts with Chacon and Bills and then it kind of ended with like fuck fate right like screw it like I'm not if this is the fate that I was given then like I'm not going to allow it to happen kind of thing like so I don't I definitely think there was like a particular order for these songs if that makes sense um but yeah definitely definitely um, definitely love this album. I think, I don't know. I just, again, like, I think, like, in Hypen is just taking a step forward in their music career, and I'm, I'm excited to see it. Um, but yeah, let's move on to their It's Live performance. I'm super excited for this. Wow! Woo! Woo! Yay! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ross been 10 months since they've been, been on its live. Yeah. 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 Bruh, I feel like I just sneezed, I'm sorry. <coughs> I can see why. I think Bills is very, I think it's a very relatable song. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, 
I love listening to this with a live band. What was Sunny doing? <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's go. This song in Jay looks so good. Thank you. I love its live performances. <laughs> they sounded so good. Yes, sir. Let's go. Was that Jake? Yes, sir. And I put it in my sale. Wow. And I put it in its life. Wow. 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 I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. I I don't know I I after listening to the album, if I had to give it an order, I would probably say Karma, Bite Me, Bills. I think that's what I would have to... That would be like my top three, I think, from this album. <laughs> His like deep voice came out of nowhere. Okay, that was really, really fun. Um I I enjoyed this album a lot, I'm not gonna lie. Like I just I'm I'm happy for an hype and I'm like excited that they're trying new things. Um, let me know, like, what your guys's like, order of songs would be from this album. I'm, like, super interested to know, like, what your guys' taste is like. Um, 
but yeah, I really enjoyed this a lot. Um, again, like, I just, I think in Hypen's growing. I, th I really do. And I wish them the best. I'm super excited for their future. And yeah. All right, guys, that is it for me. Um, I'm going to try to be back with more like behind scenes next time and maybe, um, some ships and stuff, depending on how long those videos are. But yeah, other than that, I hope engines stay safe, stay healthy, be yourselves and have a good day. Bye, guys.